Hello and welcome to another video from me. I'm just going to do a very short video here. It's the end of my time on the road. I'm flying home, not tomorrow but the day after, but I'm starting to travel tomorrow. And I just thought I'd quickly talk through how I found this little setup that you see here. You can see it's not changed much since the last video and uh, what I've learned, what, I, what mistakes I've made and what maybe I'd change just so that you can get the benefit of this experience from me. So first of all, this is one of the best things I brought with me, my goggles. They make such a difference and even though they take up a little bit of space, they've been really worth chucking in the bag and it was a last minute decision. The same as this light, which is just wonderful and I'm probably gonna pick myself up another couple um, and I might get myself some more of these little clamps here, which I did use for mounting the camera on, as you can see, but that would be really good as well for mounting the light on so that the light is above looking down and you get a slightly better illumination and less shadow. What I probably shouldn't have brought, shouldn't have bothered bringing is all these little clamps. They're really useful, but not really for what I've been doing and not for what I brought with me. They're more for smaller miniatures. Now, I was thinking of doing my Joan of Arc, but in the end, it just proved to be too much for me to uh, to do while I was on the road. Mainly because I wasn't inspired. I didn't know what colours to do and I just didn't want to sit staring at a computer screen even more looking for inspiration. So they'll come back with me and I'll do them when I get back. I did get the priest done um, and I put a little bit more work into the werewolf and I put a little bit of work, not that you can really tell because it was very subtle, into the shrine. What has worked very well though is this paint storage for transporting so I will definitely be continuing to do this this is not the first time I've used that and I brought one of my little trays with me now the funny thing with this is that proved useful for eating off of as an eating tray and I haven't used it for hobbying at all however I'm glad I brought it but that's a totally different subject so there we are what would I not bring these clips definitely not what would I bring more lights and definitely if you do find that you like to use one of these kind of contraptions. If you're hobbying on the road, it's worth the space. So there we are. I have finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine miniatures finished, started another couple, um, and obviously also got the ones that are the small ones. So probably about half of what I brought with me. These baggies have worked very well. They'll keep them safe as well on the way back. That was a good idea. So there, I'll sign that off now. Uh, that uh, concludes my hobbying on the road trilogy of videos. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you are liking the content, um, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to ding the bell and click all so that you are informed whenever one of my videos goes live. Um, and as always, last but not least, please do stay healthy, stay safe and stay well.